What if I told you that your soil could literally come alive overnight? No expensive fertilizer, no chemical additives, just a simple homemade mix that's been quietly transforming gardens for centuries. This secret comes straight from ancient Korean natural farming, where farmers discovered how to harness the power of microbes to grow thriving, self-sustaining crops. They called it a soil juice, a fermented liquid that supercharges soil microbes in less than a day. And the best part? You can make it yourself using only three ingredients sitting in your kitchen or backyard. Today on Timeless Crops Haven, we'll break down exactly what this mixture is, how to make it with the right ratios, and how to use it so your plants explode with growth, naturally. Healthy soil is more than dirt. It's a living ecosystem packed with bacteria, fungi, and other microorganisms. These tiny workers break down organic matter, release nutrients, and build soil structure. But when soil is overworked, compacted, or treated with chemical fertilizers, this living network dies off. That's why many gardens look dull, even when well fed. The ancient Korean approach solved this by feeding the microbes, not the plants. Instead of dumping nitrogen and phosphorus directly, the soil juice provides sugar and organic compounds that microbes devour instantly. Within hours, they multiply, unlock nutrients, and improve soil texture. You're not fertilizing the soil. You're reviving it. The recipe dates back to traditional Korean natural farming, a system built on fermentation and microbial activation. The key idea is to use local living materials, not industrial inputs. Fermentation breaks down complex plant compounds into forms microbes can digest easily, while sugar acts as a stabilizer and food source during the process. When applied, this fermented mix acts like a probiotic drink for your soil, waking up dormant organisms and inviting new ones to join the feast. Think of it as brewing life in a jar, one that starts showing results in less than a day. Here's the beauty. No obscure ingredients, no hard-to-find powders, just three simple things. Fresh green plant material. Choose any fast-growing healthy plants, grass clippings, vegetable leaves, or wild greens. Avoid woody stems or diseased plants. These greens hold natural enzymes, chlorophyll, and surface microbes that will drive your fermentation. Brown sugar. This isn't for flavor. It's food for microbes. Brown sugar pulls out plant sap and helps preserve it. It stabilizes the microbial population while giving them the energy they need to multiply. The molasses in brown sugar also provides trace minerals. Clean, non-chlorinated water. Water is the fermentation medium. Avoid tap water with chlorine or chloramine. They kill beneficial microbes instantly. Use rainwater or well water if possible. Each of these ingredients has a role, and together they form a perfect balance. Carbon, nitrogen, and moisture. The three things microbes need to thrive. To get this right, the ratios matter, my friends. Here's the formula that's been passed down and tested by natural farming practitioners for decades. One kilogram, or about 2.2 pounds, of fresh plant material, one kilogram of brown sugar, and 10 litres, which is about 2.6 gallons, 
of clean water. Now, let's make it. First, chop the plant material into small pieces. The finer, the better, really. More surface area means faster fermentation. In a clean bucket or non-metal container, mix the chopped plants with brown sugar. Massage the sugar into the plant material until it looks glossy and begins to release juice. Next, pour in the 10 litres of water and stir gently. Don't seal the container tight. Microbes need air to breathe, you know. Cover the top loosely with a breathable cloth to keep out bugs, but allow gases to escape. Place the container in a warm, shaded area, ideally around 25 to 30 degrees Celsius or 77 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Leave it to ferment for 24 to 72 hours. You'll know it's ready when you see tiny bubbles and smell a sweet, yeasty aroma. Like a mild fruit wine. Strain out the solids. The golden brown liquid you collect is your soil juice, a living microbial brew that's ready to use. This is where the magic happens. And, well, precision really matters. The concentrate is strong, so dilution is essential. Mix one part of your soil juice with 500 parts water. For example, add 20 milliliters, that's about 4 teaspoons, of concentrate to 10 liters, or roughly 2.6 gallons, of water. Now, here's how to apply it effectively. For soil drenching, pour the diluted mix directly at the base of your plants. The microbes will move through the soil, colonizing root zones and, you know, improving nutrient uptake. Apply early in the morning or late afternoon when the sun is mild. For foliar feeding, use the same dilution and spray it lightly over leaves in the early morning. This gives plants a quick nutrient boost while adding beneficial microbes that can suppress harmful ones. Avoid spraying during midday heat. The microbes and leaf pores don't like it. Apply once every two to four weeks during active growth. You'll see stronger roots, faster seedling establishment, and richer, darker soil. If your soil is heavily depleted or recovering from chemical use, Weekly applications for the first month can accelerate recovery. So, what's really happening underground? When you drench the soil with this fermented juice, you're delivering simple sugars and organic acids that microbes instantly consume. These microbes, in turn, release plant-available nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus within hours. As they multiply, they also secrete natural glues that bind soil particles, improving aeration and water retention. Over time, your soil becomes crumbly and soft, holding moisture longer and resisting erosion. You'll notice a richer, earthy smell. That's the scent of living, active soil. This process mimics natural forest ecosystems, where microbes constantly recycle organic matter into nutrients. By using the soil juice, you're accelerating that process in your own garden, bringing balance back to your soil's biology. Use only fresh, pesticide-free plant material. Chemicals or herbicide residues can disrupt fermentation or harm microbes. If your climate is cold, fermentation will take longer, up to three days. Don't rush it. The smell should always be pleasant and slightly sweet. If it turns foul or sour, 
discard and start again. Once strained, store the liquid in a cool, dark place. You can keep it for about a month, but fresh batches are always more potent. Avoid using metal containers. They can react with the organic acids during fermentation. And, most importantly, never mix this microbial juice with chemical fertilizers or pesticides. Those chemicals will undo everything you're trying to build. This method isn't just practical. It's part of a long tradition of soil stewardship. For centuries, Korean farmers relied on microbial fermentation to keep their land fertile season after season, long before synthetic fertilizers existed. They understood that true fertility comes from life itself, from microbes that work quietly, unseen, turning waste into abundance. Modern science now supports what they knew intuitively. A teaspoon of healthy soil can hold more microorganisms than there are people on Earth. Feeding those microbes is the real key to lasting soil health, stronger plants and better harvests. And that's it. The three-ingredient Korean soil juice that can turn tired, lifeless dirt into thriving, living soil almost overnight. It's simple, natural and incredibly effective. You can make it today with what's already in your kitchen and garden. If this guide helped you understand your soil a little better, don't keep it to yourself. Hit that subscribe button on Timeless Crops Haven, give this video a thumbs up and share it with another grower who's ready to bring life back to their soil.